Lucas here at Simmer and Peacock, and today I want to talk about food as technology. As you might have seen in our social media platforms, we have uploaded a bunch of videos presenting our food as technology. But I do have some pretty exciting news for you today, and that is that we've launched our next generation of food sense technology. And as you can see, it still fits inside the palm of my hands, but we've made some improvements to the device and the technology itself. First and foremost, it's easier to use. We have reduced the risk of spill. We've also designed these cartridges that um, makes uh, the alignments more smooth and uh, it also reduces the risk of contaminating the electrodes when handling the sensors. Uh, and we insert it pretty easily and it aligns just like that. Uh, another uh, improvement that we made is that this is based off of the Sensit old platform, which means that the raw data is uploaded into Julie. And for a, a scientist like myself, I do like to see the raw data and therefore control uh, more of what I'm working with and uh, see what my sample is like exactly. And the third improvement that we made is that detection algorithm in the sense of uh, improving the number of data points, uh, which will also be continuously improved. And also we have expanded the detection range. So let's give it a go and uh, see just for yourself how smooth it is. First off, I need to insert it or uh, connect it to a power source. And what I do then is I will hold uh, the press the power button for two seconds just so that the green light turns on indicating that the device is on and also you see a blue light here blinking which indicates that it's not yet connected to bluetooth uh, then i need to connect it to the bluetooth uh, through um through the sensitive all app the sensitive all app you will receive uh, when you receive your device you will go to your uh, phone and you will download uh, the app and install it. And it will just take a few seconds and I will open it. And then I will uh, connect the app to my Julia account. So I will enter the same email that I use for my Julia account. Type in the password. and click login. You need to allow the Sensit All app to uh, take pictures while using the app, uh, just so that you can scan the QR codes. Because you do get these QR codes um, uh, with the sensors that you wanna test, and the Sensit All app will then connect the uh, sensors to the app or to the assay in particular. So now you can see on the Sensit All app that it has uh, detected the chili sensor assay and also uploaded batch number and so forth. The next step we will do is connect uh, to the device. So I will click the Bluetooth symbol uh, and again I will allow it to, uh, to access the device's location. Uh, I will just give it a few seconds to find the sensitive old device. Uh, I will click this symbol and the device is connected. Now you can see that the blue light that was blinking indicating that it wasn't connected is now turned white, which indicates that we have a successful connection, a successful Bluetooth connection. The next thing I will do is to change the test settings. The test settings is what is labeled on the report of uh, the Julia report that we will later upload. So I will click test settings and I will change the sample ID to, um, let's call it test. And the cluster name, um, I will name food sense demo. And the operator ID is obviously um, my email account uh, for the Julie, um, for the Julie accounts. And then I will go to assay. And now the app will tell me what to do to run the measurement exactly. 
Um, I will run a, run a sample that I've already prepared, which is uh, a habanero powder uh, dissolves in the buffer. Uh, to be exact, it's a 0 0.1 gram of habanero powder in uh, 10 milliliters of uh, buffer, which uh, provides a, a dilution factor of 100. So I will change to 100, and then I will uh, place and lock the cartridge onto the device like this and as i told you um this cartridge that we have designed um makes it easier for you to align the sensor to the device itself so i can even pull on the cartridge and it will stay in place um so it's um impossible for you to uh, disalign uh, the sensor so now that the sensor is inserted and the uh, movable part of the device is uh, moved upwards so that the uh, electronics is in contact with the sensor. I will apply the sample to the sensor. And I will apply 50 microliters of this sample onto the electrodes of the sensor, just like this. And the light even helps me uh, better see uh, where I'm depositing uh, the sample. And then I will click Start Measurements. And this measurement will run for approximately 30 seconds. What it is doing in this time is that it's running through those uh, cyclical tomograms that I will later show you in Julie. Uh, and it's also uploading the raw data to Julie. So you don't have to uh, go through that yourself. You can also see that there's a uh, white light uh, blinking, which indicates that a measurement is running. And you will see when, it, um, when the measurement comes to a finish that this light will change. Uh, which implies that the measurement is done. And now you see that there's a green light indicating um, that the result is done, and also the app shows the results. Uh, and the app comes back with uh, molarity, PPM, and scoval heat units, um, everything after your preference. Me as chemist, I, uh, I do prefer the uh, molarity of results. It also says upload complete, which means that the data has successfully been uploaded to Julie which I will now show you. So I will go to, uh, I will go to my Julie account and I will click refresh uh, just so that uh, I can see my data. And I called my sample for tests. And here you can see the raw data uh, with the peaks. Um, and these peaks are the ones that we use for uh, calculating just how much capsaicin we do have in our sample and is the background or the raw data uh, behind uh, these results. Uh, so having this device connected to the sensitive old platforms give you a lot more control over what you're doing. Uh, and it's very convenient to scientists, especially. Uh, so we're pretty excited about our new products and I hope you are too. And thank you for watching this video and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any inquiries. Thank you.